Hey guys, if this is your first time to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Emily and today I am going to be giving you all the information you need to know about the brand new Petal Metal Highlighters by Smashbox and Vlada. So if you are not already aware, Vlada MUA is a makeup artist on Instagram and she does lip art. She's mostly known for the drippy lips, the ones that Kylie uses and whatnot. And she came out with a Smashbox collaboration about a year ago. She created a lipstick, I believe, with Smashbox. It was called Petal Metal and it was a metallic-y kind of taupey pink color. So recently Smashbox decided to do a round two of the collaboration with Vlada since the first one went so well. And they decided to bring out some highlighters this time, which is what I'm going to be going over today. They also brought out an eyeshadow palette, some more lipsticks, of course, and then I believe there was some liquid highlighters as well. I just picked up the one highlight in the shade Gilded Rose. These petal metal highlighters retail for $39. You get 0.35 ounces of product, which is 10 grams of product. So you get a decent amount of product in these. And the packaging is what really drew me in. Let's face it, look at this beautiful rose gold goodness here. This is everything I could want in makeup packaging. In fact, when I got this in the mail a couple days ago, I literally was telling my mom how I wish that this existed, but in a print form or something that I can put on my wall that replicates this because I think it's absolutely stunning and it's just so beautiful and perfect. And I am a sucker for rose gold. So this is right up my alley. As far as the product goes, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I am very, very unimpressed and I'm gonna get into some reasons why. So just a quick disclaimer before I get into why I actually don't really enjoy this product that much. Just because I do not enjoy it does not mean that you are not allowed to enjoy the product and just because I don't really like it and it's not really gonna be working out for me doesn't mean that you aren't allowed to buy it and it doesn't mean that I dislike you if you are totally into this. I'm gonna go ahead and go into some reasons why I personally don't like it and my favorite type of highlighter but I'm definitely going to touch base on why I think this would be good for certain people. Everyone's style is different. I have a super metallic pink gold dual chrome highlight on today and some people will look at this and think that it is disgusting. I look at this and I absolutely love it. It's all personal preference. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into why I'm not necessarily impressed with this gorgeous highlighter. So this is what the inside of the highlighter looks like. It has the embossed floral design on the actual powder itself, and it is so stunning. I really hope that my ring light doesn't attract too much light to the shiny surface and blind you guys. It might, I'm not really sure, I'm gonna try and keep it at an angle. So hopefully this doesn't blind you, and if it does, I'm sorry. But absolutely beautiful as far as the actual packaging and the presentation of the powder goes. Now, as far as the powder itself, when I first received this off of just first impressions, first glance, I thought this was gonna be perfect for my skin. It's definitely light enough. It's like a kind of champagne tone with a rose and pink shift to it. So it's almost like a duochrome in my opinion. And on the website, it was described as a champagne. When Chen Mood was posting all these photos of it, she described it as a champagne shade. And to me, this is definitely a kind of rosy pink champagne tone. To me, this is definitely more than a champagne. It definitely has a bit of that rosiness and it definitely has a hint of gold. Now, as far as the pigmentation of the product goes, this is extremely sheer. It literally has barely any base pigment to it. So when I swatch it out, it's really, really sheer and doesn't have a whole lot of pigment to it. So you can definitely see the sheen, but you have to really kind of turn your head the right way to really catch the actual pigment on your cheeks. And some people are really into that. Some people really like the kind of wet highlighter that you can't really notice until you're out in the sunlight. And when you're in the sunlight, it just looks beaming. That's definitely how I feel about this highlighter and how it performs. I noticed that when I was in the sun, I was kind of checking myself in the mirror and whatnot in the car, and it looked pretty poppin'. But in the normal everyday house light or under fluorescent lights or when I'm at work and whatnot, it does not look like anything to me. 
it really it really just doesn't do it for me and personally like i said earlier i am into really metallic blinding bam boom in your face highlights and something that is more of a subtle sheen that you only really notice when you're outside doesn't really work for me because for one i'm not really outside very often i definitely lock myself in my room like a hermit another thing is that i just really like to have my highlight be popping and i feel way more confident when my highlight is really bright and out there and pretty i don't know why but i do okay I just like my highlight to be popping. And this is three swatches built up on my arm here. And as you can see, it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of pigment on my actual wrist itself. Now, as far as the product texture goes, I was definitely expecting it to be a baked gelée formula. And I definitely think that it is baked gelée, but it just doesn't give me the impact that a baked gelée formula usually does. The baked gelée formulas are like a kind of cream and powder hybrid. So you have to use a bit denser of a brush to actually be able to pick it up and put it on your cheeks. But when you do, it looks absolutely stunning and glossy and high shine. The one I have on today is a baked gelée formula. If you want a demonstration on what the highlight actually looks like on the cheekbones, in my two videos from yesterday, which I'll have linked in the cards, I was wearing this specific powder, but I had to layer it five times to get it to look like that. And I had to mix in another highlighter that I know works for me and that I know I enjoy to really get it to show up on my skin. Now last night I tested this on my skin right before I was about to go to bed. I tested it with no makeup just to see how it would look on bare skin and it still barely showed up. Now definitely when I turned my head in front of the light I could see it. But just looking straight forward and kind of angling my face, I didn't really see it very much. And it takes a lot of layers to build up. Now, personally, I don't really mind that much if I have to build my highlighter up. It's not that big of a deal. I can get over it and take the extra time to build it up and make it look pretty, as long as it doesn't emphasize my texture. Well, this definitely emphasized my texture quite a bit, and I was pretty surprised because for something that doesn't have a whole lot of base pigment, it really did kind of bring out texture that I didn't really know I had. It made right here on my cheeks and kind of underneath my eye look really kind of crepey and wrinkly, if you will. And granted, I'm 22, turning 23 this week, so I'm not that old. I don't have a whole lot of wrinkles, at least I think I don't. And I don't want something that's gonna make me look like I have a lot of wrinkles underneath my eyes and on my cheeks in spots where I don't feel like there should be a lot of wrinkles. This guy really kind of made me look like I had sandpaper skin under my eyes and on my cheekbones. So I'm not really down for that. I'm gonna get into some swatches in a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to show up on camera very well, but there is little micro glitters in here. Now it's definitely a lot bigger than I would particularly like, but I do know that a lot of people do enjoy a glittery highlight. Glitter and highlights can really help to give you a wet sheen. Personally, I just don't like it in my highlights and I don't like it on my skin with the type of makeup that I do. I have friends that like glittery highlights and it looks great on them, but on me personally, I'm not really a fan. So if you were taking a peek at this guy and you were thinking that it was gonna be nice and smooth and metallic, it is more like a glittery, glossy sheen, if you will. The color of this highlight is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed with pinky golds. Obviously, I'm wearing a pinky gold right now, but I just wish that they would have gone with a more opaque base. Now, I do understand bringing out a product that's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more only noticeable when you're out in the sunlight, looks more lit from within, but then you add the glitter in there and then it kind of takes away from the lit from within look. So if you hear a lawnmower in the background, I apologize, I do not have control over what the neighbors do. In my opinion, I feel like there is a big demographic of people who really enjoy blinding, booming, in-your-face highlights that are metallic and are basically one swipe pigmentation. Now, I definitely think that that has something to do with the beauty community and people like Nikki Tutorials always having really poppin' highlights, but it got really, really popular over the past couple of years. So for me personally, I really wish that they would have brought out something that's more like that. And in my personal opinion, I feel like they spent a lot of money on the actual packaging itself of this collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. Do not get me wrong, I freaking love this packaging but I feel like they spent a lot of money on that and didn't really put that much effort into the formula because it just doesn't really seem like it's the most high quality of formulas. I'm just not obsessed with it like I am with other highlighters and I don't really see myself reaching for this very often. I might use this as a highlighter topper if I already have a highlight on and I wanna just add a little bit of a pinky gold sheen. I might pop this on the cheekbones on top of what I'm already wearing. 
So for me personally, this doesn't really work as a standalone product. I'm definitely gonna have to bring in some other products and either layer it or bring in another highlighter. And I don't really wanna take that long in my makeup step to do highlighting. Typically highlighting takes me just a couple seconds and I'm good to go. It doesn't really take me a long time and I don't really wanna work extra for something and spend the extra time on something that doesn't even really look that great on my skin. So just for comparisons purposes here, this is one of my favorite highlighters ever. This is Lancome's Sparkling Peach, and this one is definitely the type of highlighter that I typically gravitate towards. Definitely a big gelée formula, but it's thick and has a lot of opacity to it. It's very metallic. It has one swipe pigmentation, and it definitely is still buildable without emphasizing my texture. So personally for me, when I'm going for highlights, I'm just going for something more like this. I can definitely see the need for something like the Vlada MUA highlighter. I just don't really think that that type of highlighter was necessarily great for this collection, considering the amount of people that really do enjoy a metallic and blinding highlight. And there's a lot of people that do not like highlighters with glitter. Well, that is going to be wrapping up my review on the brand new Smashbox Cosmetics and Vlada MUA Petal Metal Highlighters. Now just because I don't like this type of formula and I'm not super impressed with this highlighter doesn't mean it's a bad highlighter. I definitely think that there is a market for this and I feel like a lot of people might actually enjoy this. Just for me personally and probably a decent amount of people here on YouTube, I think it might be kind of a letdown just because of the glitter and just because it's so sheer. Typically with reviews, I would want to give something a little bit more time before I actually jump onto camera and let you guys know how I feel about it. But this is just one of those times where I just know right off the bat that this isn't really gonna work for me. And I just wanted to let you guys know before anyone goes out and buys it, I wanted to give you guys some information ahead of time because I wish I had this information ahead of time. I really truly thought that this was going to be a different type of product and I just wanted to let you guys know and give you a heads up because if you're like me and you like metallic blinding in your face highlights, this is probably not going to be your best friend. If you are not already subscribed and you would like to be, I would love to have you here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I have all sorts of makeup goodness happening here on this channel. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day wherever you are, and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!